my life I'm a lot like you were Hi everyone, this is Rick with the Old Man Tech Channel. This video is about earthing sheets. Due to my age and work history, I have had frequent discomfort from back pain along with inflammation. Using ibuprofen to start my day was common, along with laying on ice packs at night to fall asleep. Since I began earthing, that was pretty much gone away. I spent 30 years working as an industrial maintenance technician for various companies, so I enjoy getting into the nuts and bolts of things I'm interested in. Earthing sheets for your bed are a means of grounding oneself to the earth, which is very beneficial for health improvement. The human body is conductive and has an electrical system. Daily cellular damage from just living sets off free radicals that leak into nearby healthy cells causing inflammation. This event produces a positive charge in the body. The surface of the earth has an abundance of free electrons to give up. The body easily absorbs them and neutralizes the positive charge. Rather than give you all the benefits derived from earthing, I will refer you to all the great information online. Today's video is about how I made contact to ground from outside the home to inside the home. I chose not to run a wire through my window, but instead utilize the ground terminal of my home's electrical system. My home has two wires, hot and neutral. However, in my bedroom, I installed four new receptacles and tied all the grounds together along with an outside receptacle. The ground terminal of the outside recep is connected to a half inch by eight foot copper tube drove into the ground. It is connected with a copper wire. Inside the home you make a connection from the inside recep ground terminal to the earthing sheet using the 16 foot cord you get with the unit. Now we will go outside and see that portion of the grounding circuit. Okay, here we are outside. Here's the outside recept with my bedroom just beyond this wall. As you notice this plug in here, that is the ground terminal. I cut off the hot and neutral terminals even though I didn't have to. I was concerned about some EMFs in the area of the ground terminal so I just cut them off. Basically you didn't need them and I didn't have to really cut them off. But as you can see, I've routed the wire along the house to avoid any tripping hazards and there is the connection to the grounding rod. Half inch by eight foot copper tubing drove into the ground. Now on the copper tubing make sure you clean up the copper real good and clean the end of the wire. Also on the end of the wire I took two hammers and flattened it out so that would make a really good connection and sturdy connection on the tubing. Now when I drove it into the ground I spared you the expense of watching me do that. I used this little hummer right here and pounding it in an inch to half inch to an inch at a time by the time you get it drove into the ground, you'll end up with this little booger on top, which I cut off. I then crimped the top of the tubing together to keep out rain and critters. So we'll back up here and you'll see the whole connection. And there it is. Now we will plug this in. And we have made our connection to the earth. Now we will go back inside and see how the connection is made to the earthing sheet. Okay, here we are back inside to see the connection from the earth ground to the earthing sheet. One end of the cord has a connector that plugs into the grounding slot of your bedroom reset. 
The other end snaps into the earthing sheet connection, which there is one located on either side of your bed, which gives you that option. When I completed the install, I ran one wire of my electrical meter, one of these wires, through the window, and the other end I connected to the end of the earthing sheet cord. That way I was able to verify continuity from outside to the grounding tube to the end of this cord, which means that complete circuit has now been complete. What we want to do now is check the continuity between the bed connector and the fibers in the bed, the silver threads, and uh, verify that we have continuity there. So what we're going to do is uh, hook an alligator clip onto this part of the meter and hook it onto the connector on the bed. I apologize for the quality of this video. Maybe someday I'll have some of the stuff that the big boys and girls do and maybe they'll look a little bit better to you. Okay, let's do a continuity test between the connector in the bed and the silver fibers. We'll turn the meter on to continuity and we'll just touch the sheet. Every time you come across a fiber, you're going to get continuity. Kind of sounds like Morse code, doesn't it? Anyway, that is how you check the continuity there. So now we know we have a solid connection from outside the house, from the ground, to this earthing sheet. The earthing sheet is 95% cotton and 5% silver thread. At this point, we now know we have a connection from outside to inside once again, which concludes this video. In my next video, I will show you some hazards that may hinder a good night's sleep in regards to EMF and RF frequencies. Thank you for watching.